Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 14? No, this must be like 18 now, but I really should check this before I load up the episodes. So give me two seconds, just to have a quick look. Um, 16, this is 17, not 18. I was very close. But since the last episode, we've only played a few games. I'm actually back one game earlier than I was expecting to be. As you can see from the league table, we are three points clear of Bayern Munich, and if we win this game against Gren Grunefer, probably butchered that completely. <laughs> um, we've won the league, and it might not go to the Bayern Munich game, which might be a dead rubber, which makes no difference whatsoever in terms of where we finish. But I thought I'd come back for this one to see how we do if we um, don't win this game we'll be playing the Bayern Munich game in this episode as well so since we played Bayer Leverkusen and won 3 to an extra time which was very fortunate to two sendings off we played Hoffenheim Hoffenheim, Hoffenheim and beat them 4-2 away from home so cracking game very entertaining um, very even as well in terms of shots on target but we were able to prevail. We had a few rotation players in. Lukaku didn't have a good game at all. Illa came in and actually performed exceptionally well. Which I'm very, very happy about. And then we moved on to Wolfsburg and beat them 4-2. Again, Dembele was on fire in the last few days. The last few matches and getting some excellent goals. But um, man of the match had to go to Roos for assisting both of his with lovely crosses across the goal and into the back post where Dembele was just running in to tap him in. Uh, Lukaku was able to get back on the score sheet as well in this one. It was quite surprising to say he went on quite a good, quite a big drought in the middle of the season somewhere. Uh, after we beat Wolfsburg, we then absolutely hammered um, Augsburg and beat them 5-0 with a hat-trick from Lukaku. And just an absolutely brilliant. The only downside was Gundogan got a potential arm injury, which, looking at it now, if I can go to the. Do do. Where is it? This one. Where is he? There. He is out for the next two to three weeks, so he's going to miss the last few games of the season. So, we're going to jump into the, today's game, which I actually thought I was already at. I don't know why I didn't any further what are these previews just some signs of German manager oh, that's all to do with the internationals I'm not fussed about them but we play by Munich in what a week's time so I can go as full strength as possible to try and actually I'm not going to start Kanta I'm going to bring Illa in and drop Tillemans back a bit because Illa had an absolutely exceptional game the other day um so let's put Kante on the bench. Yes, and just do that for the minute because effectively everyone else is fully fit. So I'm very happy with that. Let's give this a good go and try and get a win. I've missed the overview there. Nope, wrong one. Team talks. Preview lineups uh, is what I wanted. They're going for standard 4 4 2. A lot of teams seem to play 4 4 2 in Germany, which I didn't overly expect. Um, but I don't recognise any of their players, so it's hopefully going to be a good game for us. But as I don't know um, any of them, I can't tell you who the danger man is and who isn't. So let's do the team talk, get the assistant to do that quickly. Then say there's a lot to come from him. Come on. Give us a bit of life there. Didn't really do a lot, but we're kicking off. We're away from home, which is the only disadvantage to us. But we're only having... No, do we need... Depends what Bayern Munich do in their game. If they draw, all we need is a draw. No. If they lose, all we need is a draw. If they win, we've got to win to win the league, and then we play... If not, we play them on the last game of the season with the league on the line. <coughs> Didn't they? Dembele. 
Is he onside? He is. Get in. What a lovely goal by Dembele there. Absolutely. Um, it's come from the word I'm going for. Long, long cross in. I wasn't expecting that cross in from Digne. Especially with Dembele. It looked like he was offside. But it was very, very close. But I'm not going to complain. We're going to be winning the league if this stays the same. Lukaku's in. Can he score? Yes, he can. It's 2 0 in three minutes. And we are absolutely running away with um, odds on favourite now to win the league. We've got to be odds on favourite. Lovely ball up by Tillemans. Lukaku's in behind and he just rifles it in with his left foot. And I think. if I got, Do we have a league table? Yes, we do. Um, they're actually bottom of the league, so they're going down. So they've got nothing to play for. So if they don't do anything for the rest of the game, I'm fine with that. You can stay 1 2 0. And I believe by Munich just um, just um, scored there, Lewandowski, which puts them within three points. But I think it could go to the last day, but they need like a six goal um, swing, which I hope we wouldn't have to deal with. But they've just gone and got one back, which isn't a hell of a nice situation. With Digne finding the excellent assist to start with to then going and pretty much assisting their striker as well which doesn't help anything whatsoever Rose whips it up Tillemans Illa Sanchez all put tackled Illa's got it again Rose where's he going over the top Illa's got it back and shoots oh what a goal Absolute rocket of a shot from what was that 25 yards? I'm just not expecting that. I was thought he was gonna play it in to when I see it back. I thought he was gonna play it in through to Dembele, but no, what well, stop this? I'm gonna put my foot through it and rockets it into the top of the goal and it restores our 2 0 uh, two goal advantage. So uh, let's hope they don't do anything. I need to stop saying hope. We need to make sure they don't come back into this now. Come on, can we win the ball back? We got the ball, they can't. They're throwing everyone forward. Other than the right back now, everyone was in our half then. Come on. Stop him. Pedersen. Peterson, not Pedersen. Zola. And he's made it two. Uh. He's got two goals back, and it's really, really annoying. They're bottom of the league, and our defence is really annoying me. Like we have games where we're fine defensively, then games where we're absolutely shocking. It's like, what happens? I'm glad I've got at least one defender coming in in January. Not January, in at the end of the season so hopefully that will help solidify stuff up a bit um, let's go come on uh, let's do disappointed and then fire him up uh, Tars didn't be motivated but you should be motivated I don't think any live coach has ever said that before you might be demotivated demotivated but be motivated <laughs> Not the best way to get someone motivated, is it? Yes, I know Zola's pulling all the strings. He's really annoying me. Um, who's we have on the bench? Hoshback. Bring Hoshback in and push Ginter to right back. Push Digne over and bring in Hector. There's a few options I could do. Ella's well, got it to Sanchez, he's got Dembele in loads of space. Where's he going? Inside, over the top for Roos, and he's given us our two goal advantage back again. Is this going to last another 10 minutes and we concede again? But lovely ball out to Dembele, cuts inside on his left foot, over the top of the fence with Roos running in that back post, and just lovely right footed volley into the bottom of the goal. 
and we're continuing to do quite well but our defense is very very leaky it's really really annoying right, let's take pass luck off and bring hosh back on i want to give him game time and he's got 17 now 17 he's got the attributes i want to give him as much time as possible because i expect him to be a very good player for us where are we going just playing it around at the back this is what I don't like oh they've gone to a very defensive shape I've noticed why, why are they done a good tackle by Hosh back the Hosh not the Hoff <laughs> yeah I don't know why they've gone to very defensive but I'm not going to complain it means they're less likely to come out and score any more goals because at the minute we got a goal difference of what's that five make that four because they've just <laughs> by Munich have just scored in their game and so I think it will come down to the last game depending on what the results are all we need is a draw but if we lose I think I don't, does it go on head to head in Germany? Or is it on goal difference? Good clearance by Hosch back there. Ginter gets up to that one. Ida can't get there and Zola's got it back. It's tackled by Ginter, lovely. Ball up to Lukaku, who almost gets past Frank. Frank, Frank A. Oh, lovely interception by Hosch back. He did quite well, certainly come on for, I don't know how long, but half an hour. Did very well, very happy. Um, let's find out if we have we won the league. Freiburg's gone down, Corv, no, no, nothing's come through. Let's have a look at the rules because I actually don't know if it's gone on head to head. Goal different. The goal difference goal scores results between teams away goals scored. Okay, so it's done on goal difference first, then it will be done on goals scored, and then results between teams. Okay, so if they're all both equal, then it's results between teams. Okay. So, what did we do against Bayern? I think we lost quite heavily. Where are they? We played them right at the start, didn't we? Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich. Up there, oh, we lost 6-2 away at the Allianz so let's advance forward and we're going to do this game as well so let's double double um, double game episode and I'll probably just cut this section out just to get to the game unless something interesting happens let's try and come back here because we've got a team meeting I've just spoken to Roos we're very happy apparently but let's see how much I can damage that <laughs> do that one hey that's actually pretty good normally i have everyone unhappy <laughs> uh that's sort of reaction was that after very happy with that right let's go on record i think the game is what is your title i'm always aware of favorite tags because everything um no comment don't like doing it pass like a weak link Lack of class. Anyway, the one way out of looking at it, but to be honest, it's been a tough match anyway. Kyle knows what he's doing. Let's do that. So these are just two. These are two youngsters that I just found when flicking through the German under 19s and 20 squad. For some reason I put the um, fix to repair the German team, yet it hasn't worked. I don't know why. <laughs> so, let's get into this game. And let's go with full strength as possible. Possible strength. Other than Gundogan. And I'm pretty sure that's... I'm going to be the strongest team. Let's put Hosh back on the bench for 
him bring Hector on for his own end as well so let's go out there and aim for the win apparently we're even favourites which don't want to see one of the best defences in the league goes up against one of the potent attacking teams in Dortmund and what promises to be a battle of the irresistible force against the in, in remove, irremovable object <laughs> immovable Blah. so it's going to be a very interesting game they've gone Lahm, Boateng, Hummels who's this guy? Russian when did he sign then? he signed this season hmm 20 Two million. He's done quite well for him. Not heard of him before. Javi Martinez, Thiago Vidal, Groats, Lewandowski, and Thomas Muller. Bench: Alex Telles, Berardi, Lund, Mavilla, Max Meyer. Very good players. And we've gone with the familiar team. So we're going to jump into this and go ham and hope we can claim. At least a draw. At least a draw will guarantee us a title. Which is what we would want. And we're at home so I hope we'd have a little bit of an advantage. But the way we've played against some teams I wouldn't give that much much hope. <laughs> and Roos has it in the middle for Sanchez. Vidal's there. I don't quite know why I've got him highlighted. But we'll just see. Hummels clears it. Back out to Paslak. He aims it up, but Vidal gets in the way, and Sanchez tries to get it up. Paslak, Sanchez, Dembele, Kante, shoot. Oh, no, a lovely save, but Roos is there for the rebound, and he's onside. That's just the way we want to start. 50 seconds in, and we've, we're won there lot with our second shot of the game, technically. And that put the pressure on by me. Bayern Munich, yeah, Bayern Munich for sure. Lovely save by Neuer, but pushes it straight into the path of Roos, who just rifles it back in. And Neuer can't get there to stop the second effort. Come on. This is the one game I want to just skip to the end. Come on, just skip forward. Don't need any highlights. Unless they're for us and we're going to score, but... As long as we don't completely um, buckle under the pressure, we should be okay, hopefully. And next season's going to be a very interesting one, because we've got two of our tens amazing Sanchez and Kante leaving. Guaranteed, because they've already agreed the transfers. And there's going to be quite a few players going as well. Either out on loan or getting sold. Because I want to make this a full German team. And I want to give youth a chance. I've always been very um, youth orientated when it comes to FM. It's something I absolutely enjoy doing. Like finding two or three youngsters and then making them into absolute world beaters. Like Hoshback. I'll show you him after the game. But he looks like he can be amazing. From what I can see, what my scouts are saying, and I just want to give him as much game time as possible. As I'm on rambling, Lukaku's gonna made it too, and we're in firm control of this game. And you wouldn't expect this is the same team that um, lost 6-2 um, to Bayern Munich earlier in the season, where we're absolutely dominating this game. We're just Cut that back out. I'll skip out of that. Yeah. So I'm very much wanting to get into next season with all a load of youth players, which I completely forgot about when starting this save when doing youth because I like doing youth setups. As I'm rambling again, <laughs> Lukaku's gone and got another one. We're absolutely flying in this one, and I cannot believe it. We're one hand on the trophy, and taking away um, Dortmund, Dortmund um, Bayern Munich's five year reign without losing a title so I'm very happy with this yeah I completely forgot about the age restrictions Germany have 
which doesn't help because I try and buy um, young players quite early, like when they're 16, 17 on region day, like most people do. And Lukaku can't get his hat trick, so they're um, just sitting in the squad at the minute, not doing anything. And I'd really want to get him on the pitch. Like Oshpak is exceptional, and I want to give him game time. So let's get Hector on the pitch as well. Just do that for a minute. So yeah, there's going to be a few definite outs because there's hopefully some youngsters who are. I think you've got to be 17 by a certain date to register for the next season. So as long as there's a few of them, they're going to be playing quite a lot. As I say, that Hoshback's cleared the ball to Lam, who gives it back to Lewandowski, who is then able to knock it into the box. Good header by Hoshback, but he doesn't keep going back and following Lewandowski because... He's not that experienced just yet, and he was able to slot it away. All right. Ten minutes left, and as long as we don't concede three goals, we're all right. Roos on the edge of the box, and he's made it four, and that definitely seals it now. We put I shouldn't have said that, because no my luck, they're going to come back and score three now. <laughs> or four, sorry. But... That looks like we've got our hands on the trophy for the first time in six years, I think it is, that Dortmund last won it. I'll check after this anyway, but there we go. We've gone and won the Bundesliga at the second time of asking with not the team I overly wanted to have. And it was very, um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but absolutely ecstatic with them. Uh, yeah, I can't think of quite what um, words I'm looking for here, but we clinched the Bundesliga title. They pulled it back, but we were able to hold on. We were happy with Bundesliga when they wanted a Champions League, uh, qualify for Champions League through getting in the top four, basically. Um, some, no, Ruta de Kaleds win a proud day for the fans. Very happy. Yeah. Lukaku on form, comes down the Bundesliga, gets 74 million for finishing first. But bearing in mind, that's how many of the stages where we are, I think. There's definitely a way of uh, past positions. Like, if you look at it, up till here, what was that, game week 27? Bayern Munich were miles ahead of us and they had a few bad results oh we're joint first there <laughs> I say what's going on here but yeah they had a few bad results in the last few few games like this all here is absolutely exceptional form and they had one loss there to Hamburg then they went on another where is it gone? Another good run of wins, but then they just lost one in the Champions League. Then they lost to Bayer Leverkusen, drew with Shackle, lost to Stuttgart, beat Wolfsburg, lost to Hoffenheim, drew with Red Bull Leipzig. So they have a handful of games where they just threw it, didn't, I don't want to say threw it away, but they were in command and they go and end up losing the title on the last day of the season which is very very hard um, there was something I was going to show you as well let's have a quick look at Hoshback who looks like an absolutely exceptional youngster for 17 he's got heading, markings and tackling at good levels they can all improve as well with more football his determination is brilliant his decisions are brilliant bravery is good and aggression is good Okay, I'm not overly fussed about that one. His composure is good. But his teamwork and positioning are excellent. Work rate's good. His physicals are quite good. They can all improve as well. Oh, sorry, excuse me. But 
did we bring him in? We brought him in from Bayer for 7 million and he looks like he's going to be a bargain for us. Like, for example, like we got Shules, 16, looks like he can be a good player as well. Can we get to 3.5 star, 4 star player? So, and then Saul, who's again another very good midfielder, who looks physically a beast. <laughs> Um, where's his, where is it, information, I'm completely forgetting where, I am third, no I can't find it, but again I wanted to see how sort of tall he was in that, but I can't remember where it is, <laughs> but oh well. So we've got a lot of players like that. We've got Gundogan, who's got to come back. Who's going to be an experienced player in there for us. Then Philippe Utenrith, who looks like he can be a very good winger for us. He's going to get some football next season. He's 17 now, so should be able to jump into the team next season. If not, I'm going to be trying to get him out on loan. And give him some first team football, maybe in France or something, but... Technically, can improve in some of the lower stats, like his passing. But crossing is okay, his dribbling is really good, his acceleration is good, he's got pace. So, he's going to be good for us, hopefully. And same with Philip Bolling, who is a lot more technically rounded. But, again, he's not as physically good, but he can all improve. And mentally, he's quite good as well for his age at 16. He might not get into the team for next year but if not he's going to be going out on loan somewhere and then we've got players like Craggle who looks absolutely exceptional for 17 as well 16 finishing 14 composure good physically uh, mentally quite good and he's going to improve for striker along with Huga Kojo we're going Kojo who again is another exceptional player who hopefully will be able to get quite a bit of game time next year as well. So that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one where we play, um, who is it, Hamburg in the German Cup final. So I'll see you then.